World War II saw an organized looting of personal assets by the Nazis. Their systematic thievery included hundreds of priceless artworks, Jewish and Freemasonic books, and other cultural objects. These items were used to either gain money for the German war effort or for Adolf Hilter's personal use. A man named Vincent Michel had been poking around an abandoned quarry in central France when he made an amazing historical discovery, dozens of cars, all severely rusted, were packed the quarry. They'd been hidden there in order to protect them from being confiscated by Nazis during the German occupation of France in World War II. Nothing remained in the cars, and they hadn't been touched since they were abandoned. The owner of the quarry was able to sell a few of the cars, but planned to keep most of them for historic preservation purposes. Walking around this space must have felt ghostly to Vincent Michel. It truly was like stepping back in time. The Germans occupied France for four years and confiscated thousands of personal items of value during that time. They mostly looted homes looking for collectible art and other cultural objects. These cars definitely would have been on the Nazis' list of assets to steal. Vincent Michel couldn't believe his eyes when he found this hidden slice of history. It had been about seven decades since these cars last saw the light of day. And seeing as the Germans invaded France as early as 1940, it's possible that these cars were abandoned towards the start of the war. Little did the vehicle owners know that it would take a whole four years before the Germans surrendered, leaving Europe in shambles.